Hi, I'm Walt Augustinowitz. I'm the founder and CEO of Identity Stronghold. We're the company that makes like the RFID blocking wallets like this that prevent electronic pickpocketing, which is where somebody could pass you on the street just with a little scanner and read your credit card numbers, expiration dates right through your pocket or right through your purse. And so we make these shielded wallets to prevent that. But recently we've seen a couple news pieces where they're talking about um, our, you know, RFID and electronic pickpocketing. And they're talking about this other product, which is a competitor called Signal Vault, which we just seen. And they claim just by simply putting this in your current wallet, it will protect you from electronic pickpocketing. We were a little bit skeptical, so we wanted to test it for ourselves. So we actually ordered uh, a couple of these cards online, and I just wanted to show you what our results were. So what we did here is we set up a scanner, and this is a scanner to read these new credit cards. And you can see just by putting the credit card here, we read all the credit card information. We've asterisked out the middle to protect our card. So what we thought is, okay, they say put the signal vault in your wallet near the card and it'll protect all the cards in your wallet. And as you can see, it doesn't seem to do anything. And I'm gonna put it on the front this time and try it again. It still reads it. So we thought maybe it has to actually be in a wallet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put my credit card in the wallet here. And I'm gonna put the signal vault in the wallet here. Close this up. And let's just see, does it, and it still reads right through it. So we thought maybe there's something wrong here. We didn't understand why this isn't doing what they say it would do. So I called Signal Vault and talked to Chris Gilpin, who I believe is the founder and owner of Signal Vault. And he couldn't understand why we were able to read a credit card through it. He thought maybe it's a bad card. So I told him, why don't you go ahead and test one yourself and send me one of, that you've tested so we can try it out here and it's been a couple of weeks and we didn't receive anything from him. So what we did is we ordered another one um, on Amazon this time, just to make sure we're getting it from a different source to see if this one uh, fares any better. So we're gonna actually try it right now. We haven't opened this package yet. So I'm gonna open this up. Here's our signal vault card right here. I think this was a company called Tamper Seal that we ordered this from. And it says to take the plastic that comes in off so we've done that. And now what we're gonna do is, we still have my credit card right here. We're gonna leave this in the wallet and we're gonna put this card right here and let's see if it does any different with a brand new card. And it doesn't seem to do anything different at all. And just to be sure, I'm gonna try right up against it. Again, just like this. And so the signal vault apparently doesn't work at all. Um, you know, we've been in the business since 2005. We were the first ever uh, company approved by the federal government uh, to sell shielded badge holders to them. So this is all we do. And we know a lot about the background of these cards. And unfortunately, some people, he may have tested this on some kind of reader that it seemed to work on, but this is the kind of reader that a bad guy would be walking around on the street with, and it doesn't seem to do any good at all. So if you really want to protect these cards, you know, we make all kinds of RFID blocking wallets, like this is a leather wallet. And you can see, I'm going to go ahead and, and put the card right in here. And we're gonna put that on the reader. And you can see it's not reading it at all. And just to show you, our, our products even block it when it's open. And we get nothing at all, no read at all in there. So if you want, rather than buying a signal vault to put in your current old wallet, just get yourself a nice new leather wallet from Identity Stronghold. We have a lot of different styles over here, as you can see. But I hope this helps get the word out there because I just don't want people thinking they're protected when they're not. So thank you very much.